I hope it's okay. Yes. Okay. So, um, uh, good afternoon. Um, today we are going to speak about uh, uh, the most important questions uh, and answers of how to become Dutch and uh, how to adapt to a new culture, language, job and people. Um, today uh, we have an interview with uh, Augustinas Brazauskas and mm -hmm. uh, uh, welcome. Uh, and let's start with introduction. So first, uh, uh, let me introduce myself. Um, my name is uh, Tsarina, and uh, I am the owner of Tsarina Translations and Language School. I'm an officially sworn translator, Russian-Dutch, and a teacher of English, Russian, Spanish, and I also teach Dutch as a second language. Uh, originally, I'm a maritime engineer, and I now teach maritime English and business English in order to prepare you to job interview. Um, my hobbies are playing tennis and acting in the movies. And I also make uh, subtitles for the movies for foreign film festivals. So um, now um, I would like uh, to ask you, Augustinas, uh, to tell us uh, uh, who are you? and uh, where are you from and uh, what do you do? Okay, uh, I come out of Litauen. I live in Blissing in Holland uh, one year in uh, this month. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm oh, trying. nice, you are speaking Dutch. <laughs> Thank you, but I can't speak But you can, uh, you can go over to English. Okay, well, that would be easier to, to me. Okay. Because I'm always trying to, 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 to speak in Dutch and, and to, to improve myself. But, uh, very good, very good. <laughs> I'm very motivated in, in that. So I'm living uh, approximately one and a half years, maybe in total, in Holland. Uh, I came uh, firstly to one small uh, one small town in, in the Acker Company, Eisenbüro, how does it call the employing, employment agency. But after one and a half months, approximately, we left uh, that company. We changed. I came to Blissingen and I stay here and I prefer to stay <laughs> all my, for all my life approximately in, in Holland. So uh, to learn Dutch, it's very important for me to get a better job, uh, new meet, uh, to meet with, uh, with the people. Um, total. Where, where do you work? At the moment, I'm working in AMC, a Jewish factory, uh, factory of, of of SAP, of SAP, how do you say that in Dutch correctly? So um, at the moment I'm happy because uh, there's direct contract, uh, regular job, always eight hours, no, not longer, no, not less. Like in, in, in employing, employment agencies, uh, but little problem because there's too much uh, Portuguese and Spanish people who can who cannot speak very easily English. It's, but they are, of course, that I uh, give them respect. They are really trying to learn. Some of them learning Dutch as well. But um, I have not so much opportunities to practice in in, in Dutch. You know, <laughs> previously. Yeah. Okay. No, no, it's a pity. But and what's the name of the company you're working for? Because I didn't understand. AMC. Ah, AMC. Oh, okay, it's a juice company. Yes, yes. And what uh, do you do there? I'm controlling the line. I'm uh, I'm I'm responsible for the quality of the packages uh, quality. Uh, I mean, if uh, the date is not printed or something damages of the package, like Tetra packs or plastic bottles, uh, I'm responsible for that because I have to all the time keep my attention uh, the, 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 the 
production uh, tear while what is uh, coming through the line so it seems simple but believe me not all the time because sometimes it's very difficult to to, to keep the attention and um, and also uh, to stand in one place all the time <laughs> yeah i understand and what what did you study back home uh, I'm. I finished. I have two educations. Firstly, I, I finished in college. Uh, I don't know how, how do you call it in, in Dutch. Uh, HBO, MBO, how is it called? Uh, it it was business management, and after that, I uh, started not non everyday studies in multimedia technologies. Uh, that's the education with the, all the visualization. Visualization. What do you, I see you done right now. Um, I don't know. Do you use a black screen, uh, blue screen, or green screen? But uh, no, all the tricks like that. So I have some experience a little bit, but I didn't get to work in my country. Uh, also, that uh, maybe a little reason because uh, I have something disease. Why um, my moods and everything, my motivation always coming up and down. So, um, oh, yeah. okay. yes, not so, uh, very nice. <laughs> bipolar disorder, but uh, bipolar destruction disorder. I'm sorry, I'm confused a little bit, but but it doesn't matter. It's not so much serious. I'm, I'm happy that in Holland now I had possibility to, to research myself, uh, get right medication, or all, all the help, uh, treat, uh, treatment. So I hope my my life will go much more better than before. Because yes, yes, I hope. I hope. Yes, I hope for you uh, that uh, you get uh, good uh, medical uh, help here. Yes, it's and um, if you already started uh, to answer my next question, I just wanted to, to to ask you what made you choose to start your life in the Netherlands. Oh, firstly, uh, I'm trying don't think too, 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 too much far but yes of course uh, the future my my decision my how to say that the uh, destination would be to find something better paid uh, work maybe something uh, more closer to my heart you know something in, in with the technologies or something because my uh, how to say that wheel of 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 of, of, uh, of interest is very very wide <clears throat> i'm very interested uh, very curious about everything so if now this problem with my moods uh, with my motivation gonna be solved i can really go faster further than ever before so I really hope hope that to, to get something better in my life. Of course, I'm happy. I'm, I was very happy, firstly, when I came to Holland, uh, I had a first Dutch girlfriend. We spent together maybe six months, approximately, with a little breaks. Later, I found another one because previous was very arrogant to my side. Oh, for these reasons, uh, it's also didn't work. Now <laughs> I have a Hungarian girl. <laughs> At the moment, I'm very satisfied. I'm very happy. Of course, it's a little problem with the communicate. So sometimes I'm kidding. Which language I'm gonna learn faster, Hungarian or Dutch? <laughs> but uh, but it's just just like a joke. Are you communicating with her in English? A little bit sometimes in Hungarian, so we both learning because English for her it's much more much more important than, than Hungarian for me. I just learning uh, just for respect for her, like nice. for her nationality. But yeah, it's uh, it's it seems really uh, communication. It's not so. Not so much important if you, if if you feel the person. Yeah, we're using many times a Google Translate or something, but we're learning each other and we're teaching it each other. And uh, ah, 
there she is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hello, hello, hello. So nice to meet you. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah, that was my girl. She's a okay. little bit older than me, but uh, for me it doesn't matter because. But uh, how how many how many years older? I maybe. 14 something like that not, 14 wow yeah, not, not so much but um, i'm happy because i'm i'm always lo looking at the soul of the person no, not uh, this something other things uh, like external you know how how this woman looks yeah well for me it's most important because she really honest uh, good heart she raised well so for me that's most important things she also caring about me a lot from my side i'm trying to do that as, as well so at the beginning it's going well about the future nobody knows you know? no and uh, how, how did you meet each other oh she came uh, to live here because i'm um, <clears throat> i'm still uh, has uh, i still have a um, a dream to, to to rent something for my own like apartments or something or the house uh, at the moment i'm renting uh, only one room uh, but the house conditions is not so bad at the moment we everyone living very friendly <clears throat> so uh, it's happened uh, another another one person came to us and somehow we got in contact uh, we liked each other because I don't know. She acted uh, with me very nice, polite. Uh, I tried to do as well. So somehow we got uh, into the connection. <laughs> nice, great. Uh, but um, why did you choose exactly the Netherlands, or it was just a random choice? Oh, it it was a critical choice actually because. Um, yeah, after I was fired, uh, I was fired from my from my work. Uh, I was like a seller consultant in how household techniques, right? Uh, like fridges, televisions, mobile phones, computers, uh, like uh, something like that. I never never been in uh, how does it called media market in in Holland, right? Yeah. Something something kind kind like that. But uh, one shop, one of the shops were, uh, has closed, so uh, they paid me everything uh, what what they should, and um, just lost my work. So I, pay, I got some uh, compensations from government uh, temporarily, but after it's finished, uh, so I'm I'm not able to find someone uh, some, something uh, better job. Uh, with good payment of course there's a lot of jobs with uh, for the coins you know what, what i mean but uh, oh god to 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 survive from of the coins it's it's very difficult because after work even then i had to all the time to repair the computers after my work we go to military uh, to, to catch uh, all the coins around me, uh, um, sacri sacrifice my free time and everything, you know, and uh, it's, it's really was total wasting of, of, of my energy, of my body. So when I got the chance to, to go to um, Holland because one of my friends came there, she promised me to help me at the beginning, and yeah, and she did it. I'm happy about that. I'm I'm, I'm appreciative. It doesn't matter what's happened later after that, but uh, she helped me at the beginning. Also, that uh, first Dutch girlfriend helped me a lot. Um, also, she helped me to find this this job. So it doesn't matter what's happened, uh, still respect her. Um, of course, her opinion is very diff different about me, but uh, that doesn't matter. I'm trying to, to, to stay a good person, a good, good human, to stay humanic, and uh, that's it. So it's, it's that how it's happened. 
at the beginning, it, my first um, destination, my, my hopeness was uh, just to earn some money, come back to, to, to re realize something there in my country. But when I met her, everything is changed. It has changed. I found the, I got this work where I'm working now, I mean. And at the moment, I'm happy. Um, it's at the moment it's enough money for myself and so it's uh, i think it's a good beginning of, of, of the life you know it's it's it's, a, it's like another one totally different uh, step of my life when i had to leave my country leave my uh, parents of course i didn't have a lot of friends but um, anyway I left my car there and I left my flat. <laughs> but anyway, it doesn't matter. I, I prefer to stay yes, here yeah. because I hope something higher in my life than, than I had before. So. Yeah, great. And uh, you are giving very honest answers. Uh, thank you for this. And um, uh, it's very it interesting. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm talking too much. I know <laughs> that that's my problem when I'm, when I'm getting in many affairs. <laughs> it's okay, my but she wants she wants to say something or. <laughs> No. I don't know if you have more questions. Uh, yes, more yes, I have questions. more questions. So uh, the, the next question uh, will be, how do you fit in the new country and culture? Oh, the culture differences, yeah, it's a it's little bit different. Maybe some of the people, they're a little bit scared about, um, about foreign peoples. Some of them I can see, as I can see right now, sometimes they're trying to scam with the, with the tourists, with, with the other foreign people. But I think the same situation is everywhere. And also some mentality features of, of this culture is also a little bit different, uh, but I'm trying to, to to get in, <laughs> get inside in, in this culture, to, to respect all, all, all the celebrates, uh, all the, um, I don't know how to say in English, uh, all the traditions, yeah. Mm -hmm. All the traditions of Dutch, everything, uh, to, to, to get my place to feel like, like I'm local here, you know, it's, it's of course, the beginning is very difficult. It's, it's not easy, but, but I'm trying to do my best. I'm trying to learn the, the language now. I'm, I'm going to, to the school uh, to, twice per, per week, trying to, to learn by my per, my personal per, personally way. I mean, Duolingo, something, uh, translations, everything. To trying to communicate with, with the local people, to make a contact and everything. Uh, that's how I'm working in it. Very good. And to which uh, school are you going? Uh, Dunia. Okay, I know. Yeah. Yes. I know this uh, school because uh, they asked me to uh, give lessons there too, yeah. But I don't have any time <laughs> for that. Yes, yes, I understand absolutely, but uh, you know. Um, my budget is little limited. I always have to count all my out, out, outcomings, everything. So uh, private, private, at the moment, I'm avoiding little bit private uh, lessons, but uh, I'm trying to do other options, what, 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 what I'm able to do, everything that I can, yeah, because now um, I'm earning not, not so much as, uh, as the other Dutch people. But um, anyway, I'm happy uh, about that. What I have. So. And how many uh, how many hours uh, do you have lessons? Uh, two hours uh, at, at once. Two hours per week. Uh, four hours per week. Okay, you you are going there twice. Yes. Okay. Okay. It's uh, it's not bad. Not so bad because now it's uh, this. Uh, 
craziness about Corona. Uh, sorry about that, <laughs> about my opinion, but uh, the, the, don't think it's so so much serious to close uh, everything. Uh, like they do almost mostly in Lithuania, because uh, the parking even uh, around the uh, shops is, is limited. <laughs> it's uh, for me, in my opinion, it's too much crazy. Oh, but because you are still having life lessons. Yes, yes. I mean, it, it, otherwise, if, if not this craziness, maybe it would be maybe three or four times per, per week in the school. But uh, because of that, they limited that a little bit, you know, uh, they, 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 they done only two, uh, two times per week. So that and then I wonder, the... what do you think about uh, the system? How do you like it or not? Uh, system of the law in... in, in no, Dutch? no, no, system of learning uh, Dutch at school. <clears throat> Yeah, it's good enough if you um, taking your time to, to learn personally. Mm. It's not enough only just to, to spend, to stand there, to sit and uh, how to say that, you know, to <laughs> clean your nose and... Uh, don't and do anything, yeah. Anything and uh, and uh, at home, when you're coming back, just drink a lot of beer and, and go to sleep. <laughs> no, I understand. It's not how it, is it working, you know. If you're learning there, you also have to try to remember all the words, to, to, to try to speak with the others, uh, try to remember the new words, ask them if, if you don't understand something. Um, that's how I'm do. But yeah, of course, okay. uh, all, not always I have so much time, you know, to, to, to practice by myself. So sometimes I'm a little angry about myself, but uh, now, as I told, my, my medications really made me, made me well, made me feel well. So I really have at the moment more energy, more motivation as before to, to, to learn, to, to keep my lessons by myself also, and also to try to, to help for the, for the others, because now we also have uh, another one girl. Uh, from Hungary, she speaks perfectly in English, but uh, she living four years, I guess, in, in, in Holland, but uh, she still cannot speak to, in Dutch, so I'm ready to, to help her as well. <laughs> um, a little bit as much as I can, because I also don't, don't speak perfectly, but uh, I'm I'm happy about the progress, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's good, it's good. And at what level are you now with your Dutch? Uh, basic level, still basic level, but... Um, Is it A1 a, a or A2? Still A1? A1. 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 Still A1, yeah. And how long, uh, how long do you think uh, for you to get to uh, A2? I'm really not sure. It depends for, for of my tryings, you know, if, if if I'll have more time, if I'll be motivated, uh, if I'll force myself a little bit more to, to learn, uh, like example at the weekends, but not all the time when weekends have free. And that's a little complicated, but uh, if I'll... If I'll try it, it shouldn't take too long because um, I'm really learning fast and, and fluently the languages. It doesn't matter what, what kind of languages. But now I would like to ask you more about uh, your life in the Netherlands and uh, tell me about the biggest challenge you have had to deal with in the Netherlands. How and how did you adapt to that change? Oh, yeah, um, adapting, uh, okay. Yeah, at the beginning, it was a little strange, of course, but because when I came to that uh, um, first company, uh, uh, first employing, uh, employment agency, there was a lot of nationalities, Hungarian, Romanian, Portuguese, uh, some Polish people and, and, and um, many others. Uh, so, the, yeah, but uh, all the time for me is helping uh, to because I'm learning, uh, can speak in English. Of course, not, not all of them can speak in English. Uh, mostly of them, they can speak only their own language and nothing else. That's a little bit shame, but uh, for me, it's, it's 
more doors is open to, because uh, I can speak in English and in in in, in Holland. Um, approximately nine of ten persons can can speak uh, very well or good enough in, in English. But so, what was uh, your biggest challenge then? Biggest challenge? Mm -hmm. ah. mm. I don't know. It maybe maybe to survive after I broke up uh, with my girlfriend because uh, at the moment at uh, that moment I didn't uh, have uh, any friends uh, anything uh, I also got like uh, something panic attacks uh, very usually and everything I felt lonely on all the time and everything and uh, but then I just forced myself to get, take care about myself. Of course, I never tried to push her too much to help me or something. But, uh, you know, she was all, all the time. She was the person who was able to answer to, to all my questions when, when I had something about the, the law, about something or just to, to, to simply to ask where could I buy something like that, the item, because I don't find in action or somewhere. So she always was able to help me and uh, yeah, I always try to, to, to respect her as well, but just sometimes it's happening. So when, when we broke up, it was re really a big t challenge for me, you know, but uh, slowly I found everything, uh, the, the, I learned to, by, to do everything by myself, of course, maybe for that because I got in, in, in mania phase after maybe two months or more after, the, after that, because as I told about my disease, I'm all, all the time, it's like mania and uh, depression or apathy, <laughs> how is it called? Mm -hmm. So it's uh, when I'm in mania phase, it's, for me, there's no no closed doors. <laughs> you know, I can go straight everywhere. I always have decisions. I always uh, have an ideas and everything. So I just want to stabilize that to to to, to have it all time regular, uh, and, and that's it. But. When we broke up, I really got very down and it, it was very depressive for me. And uh, it was really a difficult moment of, of my life then. But everything slowly going forward. So um, I hope to get my place uh, here and uh, in the future to take an egg, uh, pass an exam of uh, Dutch and everything and to get a Dutch passport. A uh, passport, sorry, <laughs> a similar word. Uh, the passport of, of the Dutch and um, and uh, to, to, to get my place here. Maybe maybe at the future I'll be able to take my parents here or something. But for them it's a little bit difficult, you know, because they are older and uh, they not so easily can learn uh, the, the languages. Because the memory, you know, it's not like teenagers, and but yeah. we're gonna think it's 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 a little bit too far future dreams. <laughs> and the moment, it's um, always yeah. good to have dreams, so uh... it's always good to be to, to have a, a dream, but uh, I have to focus at, 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 at the now moment. <laughs> Oh yeah, okay, but um, uh, it's nice uh, you uh, accept uh, the change because the changes are ine inevitable in life. So the next question uh, will be, uh, can you tell me about a specific thing you had never done before? And uh, how did you react and what did you learn from it? Specific thing, uh, could, could you explain me a little yeah. bit? Uh, one, one thing uh, which you uh, have to do in uh, the Netherlands, which you never done before in your country. Something uh, what was uh, strange for you or what uh, mm. maybe um, you bought some uh, something strange in the shop or you met some uh, people you never saw in your country, uh, something I don't know, something differently, uh, what is done here, uh, comparing with your country. 
Mm. Ah. I don't know. It's it's a little crazy and funny, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> at the moment, I just, just remember the uh, first visit to, to Amsterdam. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, so, yeah, that's big, big difference big, because uh, in 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 Lithuania that's that's not legal. Mm, like, how do you call that bo bo bottle? Uh, red, red lanterns. The, oh, the, 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 red, the, red light uh, street. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Red, yes, red light was, district. Uh, I was only once there. It was also the night and everything. But yeah, it, it was uh, was very di different. Of course, uh, I, everyone knows that from other countries uh, about because uh, uh, the weed uh, using is. Uh, decriminalized uh, in Holland. I mean, it's not legal, but it's uh, it's not criminal if you have it to you if you, if you use it or, or mm -hmm. something. You know what I mean. So uh, that's a little differences. First impressions, maybe in Holland. Um, anything else? It's maybe just about the works. You know, well, the kind of the works. Well, what they had to do you know, in some factories, in some uh, other drop places. But it's it's not, not nothing confusing, nothing too much special. It's just just the factories, uh, purpose factories for for something like uh, mu mu muscles. How do you say that? You no, know, like your shells. Or this okay. Yeah, seashells. Mm -hmm. And uh, something, uh, you know, yeah, it was also nice to, to, to see maybe a second time in my life uh, a live uh, jellyfish in the sea <laughs> and something, some other uh, sea animals, but uh, nothing here is to not so absolutely completely difficult uh, different sorry okay and uh, this experience in amsterdam how was it did you try uh, to smoke marijuana <sighs> okay I'll, I'll be honest uh, yes uh, i tried but uh, but you know when I came there, it it, it it was seems like it doesn't does doesn't doesn't need it. It's not necessary to smoke because you can inhale deep and, and get dizzy. It, it was <laughs> the smell. It was everywhere around and then so strong. So many people are around you smoking uh, bravely, smoking and nobody cares about that and. Uh, yeah, but uh, like um, like a first impression, it it, 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 it was great, you know. Uh, it's it was something special, what I never saw maybe before in my life, because uh, even in in our capital Vilnius, uh, it's, you can go at the night, but there's never so crowded, you know, like like in Amsterdam at the summertime. When you're walking and you you have to <laughs> go like a like a crab because uh, there's not enough place to to go through between the people. There was so much people and I, I never saw anything like that before. And 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 also the the windows with the girls and uh, who's standing and when you're walking and if. If 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 they see you, you taking a look a little bit, uh, taking just a little bit attention to them, they immediately opening the window and then shouting, "Hey, hey, hey, sweetie, come here, come here!" <laughs> oh my God, yeah, that, that that but that was a good impression, of course, because I'm still young. The, at that moment, I was uh, single, so. Uh, I didn't have anything to, to, to regret or something about that, you know, where I am, what, what I do. So um, I don't have to feel guilty about that. And how old are you now? I'm uh, 33 years old. 33, and uh, how long, uh, uh, how long uh, have you been staying here already? 
Uh, more than one year, maybe one and a half, something like that. I should oh. count actually, because I came uh, at the uh, at the begin at the end of July. Uh, actually, on the border, something like that. When uh, it has um, ending uh, July and uh, beginning uh, August. So it was uh, not not this summer, but previous summer. So, yeah. Okay, okay. It's a short time, mm -hmm. uh, not a, not not a long at all. So, uh, and um, the next question will be: um, describe a situation in which you embraced the Netherlands, the language and people. That was a major departure from the old way of how uh, you did things in your country. Uh, Okay, let me be clear. What, 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 can you explain in yeah. me a little bit? Yeah, uh, it's uh, what, uh, which things uh, did you embrace? It's, did you like, did you love in the Netherlands? Did you accept it? Which, which things, um, yeah, which yeah. things, things uh, did you love? Do you mean about the government, about the laws? Oh, and... I don't know, just anything okay. Okay. you okay. love here. Yeah. That firstly, because yeah, I'm, I'm really like that. Uh, the health insurance system because uh, the big difference of course I have to pay a lot really it's not comparable with, with Lithuania because in Lithuania maybe now it's health insurance uh, like example maybe 40 euros something like that if you're not working person or something if you are a working person they automatically discounting from your salaries and you, you don't you don't have to take care about anything and here you have to you you are able to choose the company what do you like like say that something something else you know but then you have to pay like minimum one 140 euros by your own every month but that gives gives you uh, availability opportunity to to choose uh, any uh, clinic where do you, where would you like to be treated like example dental clinic or if, if you don't like there you can go there it doesn't doesn't matter is it uh, is it private is it is it uh, of government something like that because usually in Lithuania, if you're choosing uh, something not government uh, how to say that okay let's suppose clinics you have to pay by yourself. Only in, if you're going to the hospital somewhere where, where service is not always the, the highest level, then you don't have to pay or just just partially or something. But uh, here it's allowed much more, a little bit. You know what what, what I mean? Mm. Like example, uh, I can choose anyone uh, dental clinics or something and need to be registered there where, where do i like the service uh, something you know it doesn't matter all the time just go to only to the hospital and uh, yeah. that's what i mean uh, some other things mm -hmm. yeah maybe you were there the bless god i still didn't have to use that uh, opportunity, but uh, like you, they also pay for you after one year if you if you had uh, work experience here. Uh, everything uh, maybe it's a little similar, like in Lithuania, but uh, but that's also nice. They supporting for aging people maybe sometimes too much because for some of them they allow to. Don't, don't do any work don't don't work at all they giving some money they paying um, for for the house all, all the payments for them and they they even don't work, don't want to work they every day is smoking the weed or something using other the bags and, and they yeah they just walking they just uh, chatting uh, with the other people trying to screw someone to get some earn some additional money because per per, per week uh, per, or per month they getting only like i don't know 50 euros or something like that only for the food so that's not enough for them for, for the drugs so they doing something you know 
to, 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 to scam uh, other people, to, to, to earn some money, that's it's, it's really not respectful. But, but I hope um, Holland also gonna grow up in this and then maybe they're gonna make something decisions, something solutions, they're gonna solve it somehow. But I mean, for Lithuania, in some some situations, in some points, it's a little bit too far. To me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and of yeah. course, some other one difference. Why? What I would like to tell you mm -hmm. about the internet. Yeah. The internet, of, of course, everything. What I saw here around me, maybe in bigger cities, Amsterdam or somewhere, it's uh, already it's good optics technologies. But here, where I'm living, oh my God, in Lithuania, we all almost don't use uh, DSL technologies or something uh, long time. Just uh, only in the smallest, smallest villages. And here it's uh, still famous, still regular. The internet speed and quality is not so perfect, not so not the best. So Lithuania, it's really much more higher in that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, but it's a it's your uh, house where you live alone with your girlfriend. Or? No, uh, as I told you, uh, it's uh, just three people or you a three terrible people. Uh, house. Now we are maybe at the moment maybe even six per persons. Oh, six, yeah. That, that temporarily two persons uh, came to, to 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 stay here a few days till the agency gonna give them something else. Uh, but that's not so bad. Uh, we're always trying to 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 get get stay friendly, you know, and uh, that's very nice. So, yeah, good. Um, it's good. I, from my side, I'm personally always trying to to keep good relationships with with the others. No conflicts or unnecessary mm -hmm. stuff. No, oh. no, because DS, DS, DSL technologies. Uh, don't know. My parents still have it, but because they are living like in a small town, with, like in the, like in country, something like that, like in village. So for them, it's optic uh, cables. Uh, how does it called uh, fiber, right? In English, it's, it's it's still not prepared. But almost in all other parts of Lithuania, in all the biggest cities, it's uh, everywhere. Uh, it's uh, only fiber or Wi-Fi technology, something uh, better. And now I see is in some places is still use, usable, is still in use uh, coaxial cables, uh, ca ca um, mm. uh, you know, ca cable television. It's mm -hmm. the same ca ca cord they are feeding the internet. So that's that technology, uh, Lithuania, um, don't use lo yeah. very long time at all. Maybe ten years or something like that, but in Holland, it's still, it's still, it's, it's yeah. Still I think used. yes. I think you you can choose. Uh, you can choose. Uh... Not all the time. It depends from from the places mm -hmm. where where are you living, you know. But um, I don't know. I'm not absolutely sure about the nowadays, but. Uh, uh, at one moment, Lithuania was uh, in sixth uh, place of, of uh, the fastest internet uh, of, wow. of the world. Yes, yeah. uh, so I can proud a little bit about that. Yeah, uh, in, <laughs> in, yeah in, in, in Holland, I'm a little missing that <laughs> because sometimes uh, the internet quality and speed is really necessary for me. But of course, um, at the moment, I don't do anything with the photos, with, with, with the video making, editing. So the, the fast internet is not so important for me as before. But who knows, maybe in the future I'm also going to open my something computer uh, service or, or something. Uh, we're going to see just at the moment. I just everything what I have to do, just learn language, focus to, <laughs> focus to uh, the learning language and uh, do slowly other uh, steps. And then we're going to see when I'll be able to speak normally. When I'll get my own place, maybe I'm gonna see. Maybe I can, can. I'll be able to reserve one room, like my working place, 
at the beginning and everything. Oh, maybe, maybe the girl. Oh. Uh, Englishman. <laughs> what, uh, where are you going? No, I just uh, thought uh, the girl came out from the shower. She just wanted to, to ah. please the doctor to show. Ah, okay, me. okay. We now I have another, uh, also a question, uh, a, a next question. But uh, uh, I'm glad uh, that you are eager to explore new ways of working and uh, improve based yeah, on uh, what you learn. So great to hear this. Yeah. And the next question uh, will be uh, describe a situation in which you were embarrassed and uh, how did you handle the situation? What was the outcome? At the moment, I think I don't have so, so much problems, so much troubles uh, about anything at all. I'm just trying to, to overcome, uh, to to get my place here, to, to, to accept all, all them culture uh, rules and, and, and everything, you know, and that's, now it's everything, it's little, it's getting little better, better and, and better. Okay, it's great to hear, ah, but maybe uh, you can... Beautiful uh, housemate oh. <laughs> <laughs> brought, brought me the, the book, so I'm gonna show you. Nice. <laughs> Uh, so she, as, as I told you, she all, all, also interested to, to learn Dutch. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, if I can turn my camera. No, you can just show like this, sir. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I see. Yes. Yeah. Is it enough information about that? Yeah, nice. Uh, yeah. So uh, okay. Sorry, so now I know what. Uh, what you are doing here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's a nice, uh, nice enough house. Uh, two fridges, that's my uh, things. Uh, that's uh, all, but still working stove. Everything we have some place you now in the uh, that's a kitchen where, where I'm staying now because I'm not, not smoking in, in the room. There's also a um, balcony I have to clean finally completely because now I just I just brought uh, the biggest garbage from, from, from there because previous people wasn't very clear. I think very clear. It wasn't very clean. <laughs> so uh, we're trying to, to, to make uh, the best and uh, to, to, to live cozy here. Like example, All right. yeah, that's nice <laughs> stickers, uh, what I also... Yeah, uh, nice. Order. <laughs> All the purpose uh, <laughs> room. <laughs> yeah, that's shower and everything, you know, just uh, yeah, that's a Christmas tree. Nice. Yeah, the, but because it's of your the room? Uh, no, it's a, it's a living room. It's, it's a salon. Oh, it's a living room, yeah. Yeah, but uh, as, uh, as I told you at the moment, we have uh, two additional per persons. So, um, so it's uh, there's a little bit more stuff than, than should be. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, do you make a lot of friends here in the Netherlands, or do you have uh, good friends here? Uh, not so much. Uh, actually, in my life, I never had too much friends. Maybe for for that, because uh, for this my disease or something. Maybe uh, I don't know. But also, I'm I'm trying now. I'm learning to to be not too much trusty for for, for the other people, because sometimes I have a lot of a lot of experience when at the beginning they're trying to be very friendly for you everything they promising you too much things to help you or something and finally 
and there is like example borrow some money from you and they disappearing or just simply after that they coming to you like uh, nothing happened mm, or something so i'm trying to be very careful about the the the, the people and um, analyze uh, non verbalic language uh, to avoid all, all, all misunderstandings, all my mistakes and everything. Um, I'm learning in, in, the, in, in this uh, actually, but it's not so easy. It's, everything is, requires a lot of time, a lot of energy, uh, arranging your free time as well, because when I'm coming back at home, I'm also Previously, when I was alone, I had to, to cook for myself, to make some food, to, to, to eat little, even sometimes a little bit more healthy than usual than, than frozen pizza from Aldi or something, you know? <laughs> and uh, yes, and uh, to clean a little bit around or something, uh, you know, it's it's everything it requires the time and also to 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 to, to take enough time to to take a rest because uh, sometimes I'm, I'm starting in the morning shift i have to wake up uh, approximately four o'clock because for me it's necessary a little bit longer time to to yeah. wake to wake up to drink some coffee easily slowly don't don't just like in army just to woke up and run <laughs> you know because I, I like to prepare myself to 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 make my hairs to, to shave the beard everything you know to, to take a shower and everything so for me uh, it's it's more be much more better to wake up a little bit earlier so, and at what so, time do you start to work? Uh, in the morning, I'm starting uh, to work six o'clock. Uh, afternoon shift starting two o'clock, and uh, and the night shift starting uh, ten o'clock till the morning. So okay, uh, yeah, yes. you do not have much much free time to spend it with your friends. And who are your friends mostly? Oh, the nationality you mean? Yes, and uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. If nationality, uh, uh, one of them, the man is uh, local. Uh, now, uh, yeah, was, I, it's a shame I didn't visit them the longer time, but. Uh, but I'm trying all the time to keep the contact with them. Uh, they are living close to me right now. They are my colleagues from uh, from AMC. Uh, they are Portuguese uh, couple. They also uh, was very friendly with me. It was nice to me meet with them. Also, I'm I'm trying to keep friendly contacts uh, with my housemates. Uh, they're mostly uh, the ladies. Nice. Uh, also, another one man living with, with us. So we are two men. <laughs> English. English man. Yeah, he always make a comments. Uh, and, this, uh, and these ladies, your house, housemates, where are they from? Uh, all of them from um, Romania or Hungary. I don't know. It's, uh, because Transylvania, it's, it's, it seems like. Um, like a middle, you know, half of the Hungarian, half of uh, Romanian people. So and what are they doing here? Also trying to, to, to build them life maybe, or just to temporarily uh, earn some money and come back. I don't know about the, the, them future hopes because they even don't, 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 don't know that by, by themselves, I guess. And do, do they uh, work here? And what for work do they do? Uh, they're working for agency. And so uh, the work all the time can, can be different. Uh, one day you can work like in something onions factory, other day in, in something food factory, other day whatever else, you know, it's, 
Yes, uh, that's how does it works uh, employing agencies. And are they studying Dutch? Uh, no, no. Actually, they sh firstly they should learn normally English. Uh, but uh, my girlfriend also interested, motivated. Uh, not the, that young la lady what I shown you. Uh, mm -hmm. She already can speak uh, fluently in English. So she now is interested uh, to, to learn Dutch as well. I'm also ready to help her as, as much as I can if, if she's gonna accept that. And yeah. But another, another girl uh, do not want to study Dutch? No, because I don't know why. <laughs> why? It can, uh, it can influence their future, they can find better jobs. If, even English for them it's a little difficult. I told them many, many times if, if you want to get something better, you have to learn English. Exactly, or English, yes, but are they studying mm. English? Uh, I don't know. Sometimes uh, they don't don't take too much time to, to learn. Sometimes they are see uh, spending much more time in Facebook, in uh, in, in in something by watching the movies um, or something but uh, i don't know slowly slowly it's, it's gonna take small time of course no, i understand yeah and tell, tell me about something you really miss from your culture oh, you are in um, yes okay sometimes i'm missing some kinds of the food so my parents uh, sometimes sending something to me uh, like a smoked meat, smoked fish. Um, uh, I don't know. Actually, I'm I'm trying. Don't think too much. Don't think a lot about uh, that. What I'm missing uh, because it's just making a sadness. Mm -hmm. So it's better forget and take a mind because 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 I'm already living here. And um, I'm trying to get local. <laughs> that's yeah. my destination, and that's my sacrifice to to, to lose some something in, in in my something of my country, some kinds of the food or something. But uh, who living in like a sample Rotterdam? There's a lot of Lithuanian people, and uh, I see many posts. Uh, they uh, the sometimes offering selling uh, foods uh, kinds of food uh, of like traditional Lithuanian. Uh, so it's so everything is possible, but the Rotterdam for me it's a little bit too far mm -hmm. at the moment. But I, uh, the future I really would like to visit. Uh, I would like to see. If it's, all the all the countries of so, uh, all the towns of of of, of Netherlands. Uh, maybe the future uh, Belgium as well and everything. Uh, I, I I wish to see a lot. Uh, wow, great, great plans. In fact, yeah, the, <laughs> what I want wanted to say. That's most um, most uh, impressive, most strange thing. Because, uh, like example, uh, Holland is double uh, smaller than, than than Lithuania, but here living much more persons uh, than, than in, in Lithuania. <laughs> and uh, here the economical situation, everything. Yes, of course, it's uh, we has affected by by wars, because firstly uh, maybe. Uh, has uh, firstly came. Uh, uh, Ger German German soldiers later from uh, war with Soviet Union, you know. So everything affected our economics, everything. But that's a past. Everyone should come forward. But some things what what's happening in the politics, uh, I don't like. But it's not my choice. I'm not able to change something. No, and uh, uh, the next question is: Describe a time when you applied for a job and how did it go? Uh, uh, which one job? Can you repeat? 
uh, yeah, just describe a time when you applied for a job here in the Netherlands and how did it go? Uh, this one in Juice Factory? Yes. Oh, it's, it, it's, it's happened. Um, hmm. Let me to remember. Yeah, okay. I've, I've, uh, I still had my girlfriend. She, when I lost my work, she tried to, to help me a little bit to find something because in, 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 in Dutch uh, language in, in Netherlands, it was very difficult to, for me to find something in advertisements or something. I don't know, somehow she got from someone of the, her known persons, from the, her friends, uh, the news about, about this factory. She told me, uh, she sent me, the, right. sent me something like an advertisement or something on, with the contact information. Yeah, the, later we broke up, but uh, still uh, has remembered that. Uh, they tried to call them. It was very difficult <laughs> because no one didn't resp didn't want to respond to my messages uh, or, or answer the calls. But somehow I we dealt for uh, for uh, appointment after New Year. So. For the Christmas, I came back to, to visit my parents, and after New Year's, I came came back here, and soon I got this job by direct nor, normal contract, so not something um, agencies. Uh, so. And, uh, uh, yeah, and how did it go your interview? Did you have an interview there? Uh, yes, uh, just short interview, but immediately has a, uh, has been accepted. And so I was very happy about that because I have regular job, uh, not physically hard job. Um, the salary so it also was um, more or less good. Uh, I mean, maybe like Dutch people, no, not everyone would accept that uh, sal that kind of salaries, but. Uh, but for me, it was very good because it's regular, you know, because with agencies was experience one day working, and another day you're not working, one day you're working 15 hours, another day you're working only four hours or something. And uh, yeah, that's how is, is it working. So now I'm really happy about the st stability in my life and everything so mm -hmm. but i uh, still do doesn't lose my hope to, to find something better and what uh, what was the position they were asking for um uh, yes they they, they asked me uh, offered me a control the line position but we're gonna see maybe if, if i'm gonna learn the them languages and everything if i'm gonna fix all the problems of myself Maybe I'll be able mm -hmm. accepted to, 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 to work, um, I don't know, to get to something, uh, higher duties, you know, or something, and to stay in the same factory. Uh, yes, but what would you like, uh, which position would you like to have? Oh, sorry, I forgot. Oh, uh, no, 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 I just sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> you are very cute. <laughs> so um, I don't know. Maybe maybe at the beginning, like a uh, carton machine operator or something. Uh, and later we're gonna see. Of course, I, I never want to jump immediately to too high because uh, falling down is always uh, hurting you know it's painful <laughs> yeah yeah so I, I want to step by step as much as i can uh, don't force don't over force myself and that's it i don't know it's, it depends not only for me so it depends how how gonna be opinion uh, of my bosses in my job and everything and I see everything. At the moment, I don't have to reason. Really, don't have to reason to, to to rush too much or or something. 
just simply go forward to build my future, to plan a little bit, but also not too far, not, not too much. And that's it. Yeah, it's good that uh, you are investing in continuous uh, learning and uh, act actively seek uh, out new opportunities. Yes. Uh, and uh, I want to ask you the next question. Do you ever feel judged? Uh, yes, of course. Yes. Um, I always felt that like uh, with, with my first girlfriend. Uh, but... I just simply accepted that uh, I accepted her the way who she are. So I always try to accept with everything. I loved her daughter as my own and, and still love her daughter. But uh, yeah. it's not, not about my personal life. But uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's, um, I see sometimes people, they cannot accept different people uh, as they are. Uh, that's the uh, biggest uh, problem of nowadays, I guess, but uh, but I'm trying to be uh, much more tolerant as, as, as I'm able to be, as I can. So sometimes I'm, non, I'm trying to don't take, uh, don't take too deep. If uh, someone trying to judge me or they are too much critical for me or something, or I see something hysterical uh, features when they starting to scream or something. It's just a, it's just a kind of the people. If nobody fi uh, fighting me, don't, don't nobody hitting me or something by physical way. I, I'm always choosing uh, the way to just step away. And don't don't force any conflicts or, or something, you know. Just just how I'm just how I'm doing. Yeah, it's very wise, very wise of you. And um, uh, I would like to ask uh, you something about learning a new language, because uh, firstly you need to learn Dutch. And um, although the most of the Dutch uh, speak English, you will feel closer to them and they then to you if you can speak their language, Dutch. So it's not only because of the language, language is a mirror of the human mind, but uh, also of the human society and of the culture. Yeah, so uh, that's good. why I want to ask you the first question uh, regarding learning a new language. Why do you think is it so important to learn a new language quickly? Uh, you mean the Dutch? Yeah. Okay, uh, it's important because it's, um... Firstly, you, you, it make um, uh, uh, opinion of, of you when you're going to, 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 to please for the new work if, if something would happen. Like example, if, if I would lose this my job or something also to talk with the people because in my opinion, it's, it's just the respect for, for them. You know, if I'm living here, uh, so I have to, to, to speak them language, doesn't matter because um, short or long for me, it's a little long time because in foraging alone, I'm first time in my, in my life uh, standing uh, like one more than one years. I never had this experience before. So it was really big different, uh, big step in my life, big, big changes, big uh, difference. Uh, so it's it's so I just trying to, to show the respect for them and also to talk with the people who who not uh, who are not able to speak in English, like elder generation or something, you know, and, um, and that's very simple simple reasons, you know. Firstly, it's, it's uh, it was just the respect for for for, for the this uh, country for the people of this country, for, for, for everyone, just to, because uh, uh, when I felt I want to stay here, uh, then I me immediately took the decision I have to speak them language because uh, it doesn't work differently. Because like example in, in Lithuania, we, we also have a lot of uh, 
Polish people, uh, and some of them, they living a long time in, in Lithuania, but they don't want to, to learn, don't want to speak in, in, in our language. It's, uh, and they're living re re really much more longer than me in Holland, I mean. That's it's like a minimum. It's not respectful. It's that doesn't matter. Maybe there's a lot of uh, people of your country, of your nationality around you, or something. It's, it's communication. It's not a problem for you. But if you prefer, if you want to get uh, nationality of this of this uh, country. Your minimum, you 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 must to speak a little, just even just a little bit of 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 that language of local language. Yes, exactly. And uh, how how would you like to study Dutch? Oh, I, I would like I would like to do everything what, what I'm able, even even uh, the personal teacher, but. Um, at the moment, I have a lot of outcomings, uh, so I'm not allowed to, for that. But uh, yeah, I would accept all all the options. What is effective, you know, to listening, to talking with the people, using uh, software, the personal teachers, or public courses, or something. Everything what can, what can make me do. <laughs> To remember to learn a little bit so everything is acceptable for me it's great and how, how do you find the right course oh i don't know something by 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 the people by internet yes about dunia maybe first time I, my neighbor told me something he got, got me somewhere the contacts of, of that school I also know the other school, but uh, it, it was uh, the summer time when I was mostly motivated. Everything was closed, <laughs> so you know it was a little difficult. Then, then I uh, found, for, looked for another solutions, everything. So it's it's, but slowly, slowly, slowly. Now I'm I'm happy. I'm I'm able to 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 say to say some sentences in Dutch to understand as well a little bit something uh, of course when people talking very fast and then something uh, or difficult words what I don't know what I cannot recognize it's 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 difficult but uh, for very simple situations uh, I'm already I'm ready to, to to talk a little bit so I'm I'm really proud I'm really proud of myself oh, great uh, yeah <laughs> Yeah, and it's it's important to find a good uh, teacher and a course method that suits you for the following yes. reason. There are people who are visual and uh, or audiovisual, and each type uh, requires a different course. Yes. And, uh, yes. After all, uh, there are video courses with a teacher, live uh, courses in a classroom, or uh, yes. video course without a teacher. And yeah. uh, there are thousands of providers on the internet and both free of charge and uh, for a great deal of money. So how, yes. how do you know which course is right for you? Uh, if honestly, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, by my opinion, it uh, doesn't matter which courses you're going to choose something. If you are not motivated, no, nobody going to teach you. You can waste a lot of time for the courses. But if you, if, if you will not try to remember, will not, uh, will not try to understand or something, nobody helps you. No, Every, all, all, all the teachers going to be worse for you. Uh, all, all the, I don't know, all the books and everything going to be worthless, uh, valueless, actually. If you will not want to learn, you, you will never learn. You will never get learned. But if you want, everything is an opportunity for you. Yeah. Do you understand what right. I mean? Yes, yes, I understand. And how, how do you determine what amount of time is reasonable for learning a new language? About the time? 
yeah how, how you determine how many hours uh, per week you need to study uh, nobody asked me that uh, just uh, just accept what they're offering if there would be more hours i would accept that as well but at the moment uh, uh, as i told you for this craziness it's uh, it's limited okay so i just simply have to accept with that yeah i understand and what is the biggest challenge when it comes to learning a new language? Oh, uh, the, probably it's the syntax. Because the, mm -hmm. the, the sequence of the words in, in Dutch is sometimes very uh, confusing. Really? Um, so some, of, some of the sentences, yes. Uh, for me, it's a little bit difficult sometimes. And... Uh, also my language is more even more difficult uh, because uh, like example ik heb jij 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 hebt yeah like example in my language is this uh, rules uh, <laughs> it's much more wider we, we, the, the every word all, almost changing in, <laughs> in every sentence so even my name Augustina, so Augustino, Augustinui. In Russian, it's also a little yeah. bit uh, similar uh, syntax, so you understand what I mean. Yeah, exactly. But, but no, not, not, not yeah. but like example, Spanish people, they cannot understand that. No, no. For them, it's more difficult. For me, I just have to remember and I have to learn. Yes, yes, uh, there, there are special rules in Dutch uh, about uh, uh, verb and to put the verb on the second place or on the last place. Or so you are going to study this too. Yes, yes, I will. Uh, 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 how to say that? I'm, I'm, I'm ready to learn all, 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 yeah. all the life. Yeah, there are rules, so do not worry. And uh, I want to ask you to uh, one. Uh, unconventional questions so unexpected uh, what's uh, what's the most interesting thing about you that's not mentioned before tell me something unique about you uh, when i came to holland you mean yes about Oof. you no about you what uh, what i uh, what you didn't you say in this interview maybe it's something unique about you Ah, about me. Um, I think I told even more than I should. <laughs> yeah. Then uh, my advice uh, when uh, studying uh, foreign languages uh, would be: do not uh, strive uh, for perfection, but uh, strive for passion and uh, commit to your dream. So yes, I'm, 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 I'm trying. You know, but at the beginning, uh, every time I'm trying to. Um, to smooth my uh, pro pronunciation, uh, pronunciation as well, because uh, it's sometimes it's very difficult to understand uh, for the other people. Me, if I'm, my pronunciation is not so well. Like example, very good example of uh, what's happened with me, with the Spanish people. One one time, one guy, one of my colleagues came to me, and told me told me. Have you later? I'm thinking, what is what's what what's gonna happen later? Then when he shown the the, the gesticulation, understood uh, he pleased me lighter, <laughs> you know. Oh. So, so the, the little bit different sounds, and then uh, yeah. I, I has confused, you know, only <laughs> for, for for bad pronunciation. So I don't want to, I, I'm trying to avoid that we, when I'm talking with, with the other people. So, so I'm, I'm trying to, 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 to make the best of my, to, to tell it clearly, <laughs> to say it clearly, the words and everything and, and correct grammar, correct uh, syntax. Of course, it's, it's still a little mystery for me, but um, that's need, requires time. Yes, it requires time and just go at your pace and take little yeah, steps. Yeah, how, how we, we, we have a, like a, like expression. Moscow also hasn't built in, in one day. Exactly. Know, maybe maybe yes. you know that that expression in, in your yes. language as well. So. I, I know this expression. So. And, uh, just I want to tell you, just learn the material, be with it, and uh, you will have uh, the rest of your life to speak. 
So just enjoy for now and enjoy the journey with language and new culture and new people. So, and you will be amazed by how easy it can be to connect with uh, other people. My extra value is uh, that I give lessons in your native language, in Russian, Spanish, or English, and it will make easier for you and uh, will deliver quicker results. So then uh, I wish you much more success and just... Yes, uh, thank you well. <laughs> thank you well, yeah. <laughs> so I believe in you. you Heartily have thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you very much for your time and uh, for your that you were so open. so open. I just uh, were surprised that you were so open and you say said uh, immediately, okay, I will do the interview. So you were, I think, also curious and uh, yes, <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, thank you well. And Krachadan, final album. Tot ziens. Tot ziens. Tot ziens.